You wanna see something cool? ごめん、ちょうこがどうしてもこれつけて出ろうって。ちょうこちゃん、たまにはいいじゃん。おお。さ、ゆい続きを。え、ポケットモンスター、エクスファイルコーペレーション。はちま。こんな恥ずかしい
As for becoming trainers, well, it's almost like Pokemon training, she chose up. And we each discovered our love for Pokemon in our own ways, and we were united by our desire to learn and grow alongside these wonderful creatures. We bonded over many battles, fashion shows, and adventures, which made our friendship at least stronger. Catherine, Blossom, Kaylee, and I, we all bring our unique flair to the team, inspiring one another to reach for the stars, and with strength and style. My journey as a Pokemon trainer began when I was captivated by the bond between people and Pokemon. Seeing trainers and their partners work in harmony really sparked a flame inside my heart. As for Professor Sycamore, he is such a knowledgeable and charming person. While I didn't start my journey directly through him, his influence on trainers throughout Kalos can't be overstated. I received my very first Pokédex and a set of Pokéballs from the Lever City Gym as part of my initiation as a Fruity Sun Girl. And it was a moment filled with excitement and dreams about all of the wonderful experience I was, I was about to have. My enchanted days have been filled with learning the delicate art of Pokémon battles and the splendid world of fashion ever since. I was really so fortunate to also have friends like Catherine, Blossom, and Kaylee right by my side. Learning how to use a Pokéball is one of the very first steps of being a trainer. You press the button and it magically transforms from the size of a ping pong ball to the size of a baseball, making it ready for a Pokémon catcher. It felt like a real rite of passage, learning that the flick of the wrist and the timing of the throw. Catching my first Pokémon, my darling Aroma Tease. It was a moment I'll always cherish. We met during a stroll throughout the fragrant flowers of Kalos. It was almost as if I was destined, you know? Aroma Tease was drawn to my perfume and we had an instant connection. I remember tossing my Pokeball with all the gentle finesse that I had learned, and when Aroma Tease agreed to join my journey, it was like the world became a little more beautiful. From that day, we were inseparable, and Aroma Tease has been a central part of my life ever since. In fashion and battles, it's a bond that goes beyond just being trainer and Pokemon. It's a wonderful friendship! I'm also a Battle Chateau trainer, but of the Duchess rank. I started experimenting with makeup in my early teens, just playing with a small bit of lip gloss and mascara to add a touch of sparkle to my every single day look. It wasn't just about looking pretty, it was like discovering a new form of expression and artistry, which has always been so important to me. Oh yeah! Around that sweet age of 13 is when I started to dabble in makeup. As I got a bit older, I began to appreciate the transformative power of makeup and more and more. And how it can amplify your natural beauty can create a whole new persona for a fashion showcase. There's just something so magical about the way makeup can boost your confidence and let you share a bit of your inner self with the world. When Sawyer came to Lever City to ask for a gym battle, I told him that Valerie wasn't available at the moment due to her collection being displayed at a fashion show. I'm very sorry. You see, the Lavare gym is closed because we're having an event here today. There's really nothing I can do. And during the fashion show, I picked Zoe up from the audience to battle against Valerie in an official gym battle that was part of the show. <laughs> that one, the boy in the front. And the next day, I witnessed the fight between Ash and Valerie, and I stated that Val hadn't lost to someone in a while. I just can't believe Valerie lost. I haven't seen that in so long. And there you have it. Thanks, Jennifer. And there you all go. Now you know all who these girls are. And before we go, Linnea has to say something. And yes, it's very important. The Masters A tournament was absolutely electrifying. Each battle was so intense it showed off the amazing skills of the trainers and their Pokemon. Diantha's elegance, Alan's strength, Cynthia's strategy, and Iris' bond with her Pokemon all were so inspiring. The opening ceremonies were like a dazzling dance of light and colors, a real feast for the eyes. Everything was so well coordinated and thrilling. It set the perfect stage for the high stakes battles to come. When I shared the excitement with the girls over the Rotom phone, we were all bubbling with joy. We chatted about each moment, making predictions and cheering on our favorite. And it was like we were right there in the stands together. As for snacks, we indefinitely indulged on some tasty treats. We had an array of finger foods, I think Poke Puffs and fresh berries, and we even served all dogs burgers and vegetables and chicken and Gatorade. We sipped on three berry lemonade to stay refreshed. It was the perfect day of friendship, flavor, and the thrill of battle. The final showdown between Ash and Leon was the talk of Laver City. When it was time for Pikachu and Charizard to take the stage, excitement was just palpable. I could 
wait to tell Lady Valerie all about it. I remember approaching her with the biggest smile, practically buzzing with enthusiasm. Lady Valerie, the moment of truth is finally here. How should Pikachu are up to get Cleon and his Charizard? It's going to be the battle of a lifetime, I exclaimed. Valerie shared in the enthusiasm, and we made sure not to miss a single moment. We were both so impressed by the determination and hype both trainers and their Pokemon showed. It was a testament to the bond between a trainer and their Pokemon, and the hard power of hard work and preserving. And watching these moments unfold was like witnessing a piece of history in the making. We clung to every move, every strike, and thrilled by the spectacle. And when the battle concluded, whether in jubilation or disappointment, we celebrated the spirit of the event, and it was an unforgettable experience ever made. Ah! Thanks to you, we've gotten a whole lot stronger than we were before, Leon. This battle is the peak of all the adventures begin when I had up until this point. It was a tense moment when Pikachu appeared to be overwhelmed and we all held our breaths. The power that Fire Blast had a story. Fire Blast! Oh, yeah! <laughs> That's it? That was just a bunch of cheap walk cycles! <laughs> SpongeBob betrayed us! Obi. Is he dead? What could we have done differently? Good question. We took too long. I gotta run away! That's what I'll do! Run away! <laughs> but when Pikachu stood up, it was like a miracle that had been unfolded right before our very eyes. Wait. <laughs> and it was like everything went super sparkly in slow motion with Pikachu summon the strength of that of electrifying full tackle. And then the referee announced the winner and it was pure magic. Lady Valerie and I, along with the other girls, we just erupted into cheers and screams of joy. Charizard is unable to battle, which means the victory goes to... Us! It's decided! We now have ourselves a new champion! From the Kanto region, born in Teletown, Ash Ketchum! Hey, Pikachu! We couldn't contain our excitement. We jumped up, clapped, and shouted, and sharing the joy of Ash's incredible victory. It was a moment of triumph that resonated with every Pokemon fan, a true celebration of determination and friendship. And it was also showcased in Shibuya downtown. The atmosphere was just so vibrant, and everyone cheering and celebrating Ash and Pikachu's amazing achievement. They had worked so hard, and had come this far, and it was... And to see them reach such a pinnacle 
absolutely inspiring. Oh, and what a zappy and unforgettable day that was. We all have something to say to Ash. Ash, you may have beaten Leon, but you won't stop your dream of becoming a Pokemon Master. You are the greatest trainer in the world! Congratulations, Ash Ketchum. You are truly the very best like no one ever was. Your dedication and heart have led you to amazing heights. And it's such a delight to witness your journey. Good luck as you continue to befriend Pokemon and chase your dream of becoming a Pokemon Master. Mwah! Bye-bye, and best wishes on your adventures! Good to see you! It's now legal to use your meme! What's the worst that could happen? See? No consequences! Thank you so much for watching, everyone! What do you think? If you appreciate it, please be sure to super smash that like button. And be sure to follow on my social media platforms in the description below and in the Team Live Lights fandom channel. Please be sure to leave a comment below and please give us your open-minded thoughts. Because we here at Team Life Lights Stand Up do not condone harassment, violence, or trolls allowed, or otherwise, Ben Hoek from the Comedy Central Serenity Stimpy Show will haunt you down to the ends of the Shadow World. Please be sure to subscribe to our videos and click the notification bell. You'll never miss a video the second it goes live on YouTube and Google. With that being said, thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye! <laughs> Thank you so much for playing my game! End of story! Bye bye! Hey, nah! I, I don't, don't think, think so. so! Meme! Appro- NANI? Uh -huh. uh. Excellent argument! Approved! Excellent argument! Approved! Excellent argument! Approved! Here we go! No time to read a list. Approved. Next. Approved. Like and subscribe to Natalie's channel. Not Natalie Lander's channel. We don't care about her. Natalie Elaine's channel, okay? Get it together.
legend will never die.